Hi cookies, welcome back. Today is National Comfort Food Day. I know, they have food holidays for everything, but I'm with it. When I think of comfort food, I immediately think of my mom's chicken and dumpling. It was my childhood favorite. So today, I'm going to show you my version. Let's cook. Starting off, I have some well-seasoned chicken breasts. Just two because my chicken breasts were extra healthy. You can use three if yours are a little slim. We're going to boil these so I am pouring in some water and since my chicken doesn't have bones, I'm using boneless, I'm going to add in three chicken bouillon cubes just to jack up that chicken flavor. Alright, turn the heat up and let those cook. Let's work on the dumpling. I have two cups of flour here, all purpose flour. I'm just adding in a little bit of salt and also some baking powder. Give it a little mix. Now we're going to pour in some melted butter. Check that link in the description box for all the measurements. Now I'm going to create a little well in the center of my flour and I'm just adding in some chicken stock. Just slowly, gradually adding it in, mixing it as I add it. In a minute I'm going to drop this spoon and just get in there with my hands and just mix this dough together. You know how to do it. All right, now we got our nice little dough ball. I'm gonna flour my surface and get ready to roll this boy out. All right, let's get to rolling. Drop him down and then flour your rolling pin, of course. And now I have it all rolled out. Roll it as thinly as you can. Then just cut them up into two inch strips and let them sit on that surface for about 15 minutes so they can dry up a little bit. Let's go back to the broth. Look at our little chicken. They're all ready, so we're going to remove them from the pot, let them cool, and then cut it up. Okay, now with this yummy broth, we're going to add in some milk, half evaporated milk, half regular milk. Give it a stir and then taste and adjust the seasoning. Here I'm just adding some extra pepper. Stir it up and bring it to a slight simmer. Not a full-blown ball, but a simmer. Now carefully add in your dumplings. Listen, be smart, do this carefully because see I was slanging it in there and that broth popped me on my forehead. Oh Lord, that was some serious pain. So don't, just be careful. <laughs> now y'all, the first time I tried to make this, it was for one of my little bobblehead little boyfriends back in the day. This was years ago. He gonna look at my pot talking about, I think I'ma just order us some pizza girl I was like I know you lying but that's okay Coop done improved I bet he can't get in her pots now <laughs> come on somebody <laughs> anyway y'all add in that chicken give it a stir stir it up stir it up stir it up add in some butter I almost forgot about that don't forget the butter stir well let it simmer for 25 to 30 minutes and Look at that homemade chicken and dumpling from scratch. Mama, you proud of your girl? She was proud. Stay tuned to the end of the video for that. But anyway, guys, check that link in my description box. Full recipe will be there. Thank you so very much for watching. As always, tell me something sweet in the comment section. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. All right, y'all, I'm hungry. Be blessed. Hello. Go ahead. Get in there. Get in there. Scoop me some. Just get some. That's what I want. Pull it away. Drop it, Ma. Drop it.